This is Worsten Sloth. He's an Iron Man, restricted to a very specific set of weapons. Banned from using anything at all recommended, I'll be attempting to defeat every boss in the game. This means getting a quest cape and grinding for some items that most people wouldn't care about at all. So welcome to a ridiculous journey. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor trolls. <clears throat> but if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, trolls are good enough and would suffice. By the end of this episode, I'd like to be completely ready to take on Desert Treasure, and ideally do the quest, but that's going to involve some RNG, which we'll get to in a minute. Anyway, there are a few things we need to sort out before we can take it on. We need to get some prerequisite quests done. We need 53 thieving. I need something else than an adamant full helm on my head. And I need some magic logs. But for now, let's start with some thieving training and do the feud. Time to talk to Ali Morrisain, the Scammer King himself, and he's gonna have a job for us. Needs us to go find his nephew in Palnovnich, uh, which really is a city I'd rather not go to, but I suppose we will. Hmm, I wonder if there's anyone in this bar that would like three beers. Um... Oh, well that's convenient. The city's basically all about these two groups of bad guys. There's the white bad guys and the purple bad guys. And basically we're trying to get into their good graces so that we can find out what happened to Ali's nephew from them. Yep. We're gonna ask to join this guy's gang, and he's apparently the operator. If you've seen Marble Hornets at all, you know what this guy's about. Ali wants us to pickpocket three villagers. Oh. Okay. Ali, I need help. It's not working. Ali said we need a distraction, so we're gonna hire this child. Ali! Ali, I distracted one of them and now it doesn't work anymore. What do I do? What do I, what do, I do? Ali shared some new scientific discoveries uh, that apparently if you have a concussion, it's really hard to fight back against thieves, so uh, we're gonna take advantage of that. We now need to infiltrate the mayor's house and steal his precious jewels. This is a job that will require precision and an impeccable disguise. Luckily, we have that right here. Unrecognizable. I'm in. No idea what the code is, I'm just gonna put in the Fibonacci sequence and see if that works. Hell yeah. What the hell, I was promised jewels, but I'm only seeing jewel. And in the twist of the century, we have discovered that there is a traitor in this gang, and it's traitorous Ali. I would never have guessed, this is crazy. We're gonna deal with him by poisoning him, so obviously we need camel shit and snake venom. Okay Ali, I murdered a man for you, will you please tell me where this guy's nephew is? No one here has any idea, what am I doing here? Oh, these guys wanna take over the world? Like, I don't think they be any good at it, but I uh, may as well kill his champion, right? This guy's really scary, so we're gonna have to whisk him off his feet with uh, the egg whisk. Yep. As I miss that flick. Yeah, I wish I kind of like whisked him, but I just smack him with the whisk. <laughs> this guy's just a big ugly egg that I have to beat into submission. Yeah, get whisked. The villagers are mad at me because I killed that guy, because now there's a power imbalance, so it's fine. I'll just kill another man and everything will be fine. I'm sorry about this one, man. It's just it's just in the name of balance. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy my Bruma Torch to the face. The feud complete. It turns out it was all just a scam in order to get him to sell me some more stuff. So uh, good job, I guess. Anyway, 15,000 thieving XP. Like that. And yes, I did pick up the Adamant Scimitar, but don't worry, I will never use it. It will just sell for some money. Up next is the Tourist Trap. Irina here has lost her daughter like an idiot. And we're gonna go find her. Hey, you got any children in there that I could snag? Uh, just doing a thing for someone. Okay, he did not like that idea. Instead, I will stab him with my Steel Spear. I kinda want his shield. It's enormous. I like it.
Thank you. This camel is vibing. Look at him. Okay, this slave and I are gonna get naked together and then I'll have his clothes. Sick. Ah uh, yes, the gender is according to Jagex. Male, female, and rowdy. This god will let me do basically whatever I want as long as I bring him a pineapple. He winks at me. What are you doing with that pineapple, buddy? So El Shabim here is proposing a trade in which I get him the plans for an ancient weapon and he gives me a single pineapple. I mean, I'm in. Got this man rambling about sailing, I can literally open his chest in front of him and leave. He should really have any other job. Okay, it's time to set the work. We've got these ancient technical plans. We've got the materials. We are ready to create this weapon. All right, here we go. Yes, we want to follow the technical plans. What do we create here? A dart. We have created a dart. I can go to any of the bars in the world and play with this for free. What are you doing here? Yeah, here you go. I got you the prototype dart. I'm sure you'll be improving on this design. Okay, as my reward, I got six bronze darts and a pineapple. Uh, good luck, guys. I don't know that you're gonna do well in the world. Hey, brought you that pineapple, my guy. He's like, ooh, I'll, uh, ooh uh, I'm gonna go behind those rocks real quick. Uh, nobody follow me. I'm just gonna be alone for a little bit. Hi, Anna. Nice to meet you. Please don't struggle as I put you in this barrel. I hope that someone gets my Anna in a barrel, yeah. Oh, Arena, I got you something. This is just a barrel. No, it's... Yes, but, I mean, look inside the barrel. Okay, I know most people pick agility here, but I actually hate training thieving way more than agility, so we're gonna pick thieving. Tourist trap completed. 45 thieving. Next. Okay, the next quest... Next quest? Okay, the next quest is Sea Slug... No, it's not. Okay, the next quest is the Slug Menace, and I need 30 Runecraft, and I currently have 25, so I'm just gonna do a couple diaries because I don't feel like trading Runecraft. Anyway, Karamja first. Okay, here we go, our first Fire Cape attempt. Okay, I'm scared, actually. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay, lamp number one. Let's throw that into Runecraft. Someone's put it in cooking. That would have been bad. That is 26. <laughs> Let's keep her going. On to the Pelador Diary. All right, lamp number two. Uh, oh, I need to be in 30, god damn it. That's right, I should have looked that up. I totally forgot that you need level there. Okay, well, this was pointless. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what else do I need? Uh, oh god, so many things. Um, we will put it on crafting, because I'll need that soon. Yep, oh well. All right, new plan. We're just gonna do the library for a little bit and then we'll get 30. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. And 30 room craft. Okay, I should have come here from the start. That was way faster than I expected. Sick. Okay, let's go do bad slugs time. God damn, it's beautiful here. I might move here one day. Mm, love decay. Talking to Colonel Onya here and he's gonna tell us that uh, the city isn't doing great. Uh, and I knew that already. I was aware of that. Thank you. Talking to the mayor. He's doing bad. Talking to Holgart, the city stole his boat, so he's doing bad. And talking to the priest, who seems to be doing fine, actually. Nope, never mind. Oh, hey, it's Ezekiel Lovecraft. You think he has a cat with an aggressively racist name? Ah, the jaundice got him too. Damn it. Now we gotta do some arts and crafts and make runes in the shape of their icons. Arts and crafts got way out of hand and I had to kill a man, that's why I'm scold. Nah, that's gonna be a abyss, I don't have a fire talisman. Anyway, uh, let's finish the quest. All right, shove more things into more doors. Oh, it's the Slug Prince. He looks so royal. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna Mithril pick him. That seems like a thing to do. I spent 12 long years working down to the Slug Mines. Oh, wow! What a move! I feel like most of the time that I shove things into doors, I get a mother figure to come out. Anyway, just something to think about. Okay, and the Slug Manus is completed. And uh, unfortunately, that is where this quest line ends for now. Uh, Jagex, I would love to, to wrap that one up. Evil Slug Lady, I think, needs to be taken down. So, uh, yeah, anytime you could do that, that'd be great. I'm gonna knock out a couple more requirements for Desert Treasure. Uh, one of those is Death Plateau, followed by Troll Stronghold. So we're just gonna get that started here. Honey, what should we name our baby? Uh, how about Eric? No, no, he needs more of a... Uh, nah, nah, sound. Okay, how about Yaurik? That's perfect. 
Hey, I'm trying to talk to Harold, but he doesn't want to talk to me. No, oh, have you tried lowering his ambitions with alcohol? Oh, I hate that. Thank you. Hey, now that you blasted, can I take advantage of you with gambling? Yeah, he's fine with that. <laughs> okay, Harold rolls four and five. That's pretty good. What do I got? Three, not looking great. Uh, yeah, that's just uh, worse. Oh, but, you know, he's uh, under the influence, uh, so he's <laughs> useless in so many ways. An IOU, scribbled on some paper, and, um, yeah, that sure has the combination. God, how did this guy get hired? My liege, we have installed highly effective regulation locks on the equipment room. Eh, needs more balls. M more balls. What? We must now ask the great Sherpa Tenzing on how to get up to Death Plateau via a very secret route, and in return, he'll want food. Lots of it. Luckily, we have that. Hey, can you fix Tenzin's boots? Yeah, only if my kid goes in the military. What? Oh wow, there is another path to the Death Plateau, and I can see it from the regular path to the Death Plateau. Okay. Denelth, great news! I found the other way up to Death Plateau. And better news, you're all as stupid as the trolls for not finding it sooner. Okay, that's quest complete. We do get claws, and I would like to say, uh, claws will be a big part of the account in the future. I'm excited for them, because they are... Sick. And useless. So, that's kind of our thing. Well, we're gonna keep helping these guys out, and we're gonna go to the troll stronghold for them. Oh, uh, hey dad. You seem different. I don't know. Uh, bigger, maybe? More violent? Less supportive of me? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll deal with this. Also, we're gonna claws him. Why not? Thank you. I have no idea how hard this guy can hit. Oh, okay, he gave up. Uh, sit down, I guess? Yeah, this is your captain speaking. If you look to your right, you'll see the wilderness. Uh, directly north, you've got Godwar's dungeon. Uh, and if we continue, we're about to get barraged by these trolls. Okay, the sheer size of the sword. I want it. Is that weird? Anyway, we don't have to fight him. We gotta kill this guy. The oversized granite hammer. Uh, we're gonna adamant axe him a question. I'm sorry, I need to stop using that joke. We're gonna use the adamant axe on him. Yeah, apparently this guy has a max hit of 38. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I get my prayers right. <laughs> so trolls are named after the first thing they tried to eat, so does that imply that this guy first tried to eat a troll general? Huh. Okay. <laughs> wow! I, I killed him with an adamant axe and he dropped an adamant axe. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Okay. That's the sound of them snoring. That's loud. Anyway. Hey dude, found your son locked up with some trolls. Um, yeah, I let him go, but kind of just like turned him loose in the middle of a bunch of trolls. Did he ever make it home? Oh, good, good, good. Alright. Glad that worked out. And that's Troll Stronghold completed. Okay, we're gonna do a Hazeel cult real quick. Uh, it's like a 10 second quest. Uh, basically, I'm gonna side with Cyril on this one, because if you don't, then you kill a dog, and I'm not really about that. Uh, so, here we go. We're gonna go get this man his armor back. Yep. Oh yeah, and I think they were trying to resurrect one of the Majorat. Um, so we're just gonna not let them do that. Anyway. Quest complete. This changes every- No, it doesn't. It's fine. We're just gonna move on. Okay, there are two more quests I want to get done before we take on Desert Treasure. Those are Temple of Ikov and the Fremenic Isles. The Fremenic Isles is obvious, we want the hat. Now let's talk about that hat for a sec. Now, I had a few comments asking me, how is the Helm of Natus not a worst in-slot item? And the answer is, it's not. It's really good. Uh, now, I am restricting myself to weapons, but not armor, and I'm doing this for two reasons. The first being, in the pretty near future, we're going to come across some bosses that are going to do damage to me that I cannot pray against. And I'm going to be doing some low DPS, as I'll have, you know, not great weapons. Uh, just having some nice armor to balance that out seems pretty imperative as we get into the later game, so I'm going to stick with that. And second, there just aren't as many armor options as there are weapon options, so I just think it wouldn't be as fun or engaging to not use the armor that I can. So anyway, that's what I'm doing.
For the Fremenic Isles, I need 48 crafting to make Yakite armor. That's the easy and straightforward level requirement out of the way. For Temple of Ikov, it gets a little more complicated. In theory, I would just have 40 range, get a U-bow, and fire the ice arrows that you need to kill the Fire Warrior. Uh, there is an option though. If you just have the ice arrows equipped, you can use throwing knives or darts to damage it. And that sounds hilarious, so I'm gonna do that. Now, to get a decent supply of these throwing knives, I need to buy them from Martin Thwaite in the Rogue's Den. To access his shop, I need level 50 in both agility and thieving. Uh, agility, no problem. Check. Thieving, we're not quite there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get 50 thieving. No problem. I need even higher than that for Desert Treasure anyway. We were gonna go to the Rogue's Den, buy my throwing knives, and then we will go take on Temple of Ikov. Cool. 50 thieving achieved. Let's go buy some knives. Okay, I got myself a hundred steel knives. I imagined that should be enough. Also, look at this absolute unit here in the gilded chef's hat and gilded bronze. Man, it's beautiful. Okay, look at the way this man walks. I, <laughs> I don't know. He's either old or just not okay. Uh, anyway, we're gonna talk to Lucian to start this quest. So we have to go down this little ice cavern path here, and uh, normally what you do is keep looting the chest for more ice arrows, but as we're using the knives, we really just need to get an ice arrow that we can have equipped, so the game thinks we're using ice arrows. Okay, third chest, got ice arrows. Nice, let's get out of here. These things are quite a bit taller than me, what do you think they were the skeletons of? Okay, toss up Prime Mage. There's the red guy. <laughs> so I just moonwalk backwards. Yes, it works! <laughs> okay, one more knife. One more... One more knife. Okay, one more knife. No, okay, one more knife. There we go. Well, I way overestimated the number of knives I'd need, but, you know, I'll use them for range training somewhere else. So this lady will teleport me uh, approximately, what, four, five tiles uh, for the cost of 20 limpwort roots. I would love to see what spellbook she's using. Oh yeah, coming this summer, the bullshit spellbook. Everything uses limpwort roots. Turns out the sketchy guy hobbling around in RD was a bad dude, so we might as well not steal an ancient godly artifact for him. So now it's time to uh, kill this man, and he's a huge bitch, so we're just gonna use the uh, bronze spear. Oh wow, what a challenging fight. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Enjoy the north. Alright, Temple of Ikov complete. It's some juicy rage text, to be honest. What does that give us any levels? Yeah, 48 and 54 fletching. Very nice. Cool. All right, here's the deal. I need 46 crafting for the Fremenic Isles. I also need to complete four more Recipe for Disaster subquests for, uh, reasons. Anyway, two of those subquests will give me crafting experience, and I may as well just complete the other two while I'm at it, so let's get it done. Okay, let's help the boy. I haven't completed fishing contest? Let me get on the stairs. No! Okay, I'll bring you a trophy first. What? Okay, before we start the fishing contest, just need to put this down real quick. It's just I'm carrying it everywhere. No, yeah, gross, garlic, I'm a vampire and I hate flavor. Eh. Here you go. You like it? Cool, who likes it? Alright, anyway, back to what we were doing before. Uh, cool, Emily here is telling us that we need to make an Asgoldian ale, which is literally a beer with some money in it. Disgusting. Anyway, also I just dropped a gold coin into this beer and it dissolved. What kind of caustic shit are you serving me, Emily? Good god. Time to get another dude intoxicated so I can take advantage of him. I'm such a good guy. The fuck is wrong with him? Excuse- What? My guy? I am so worried about you. Okay. Here, eat your cake. Alright, that's one. Alright, little ogre guy, what do you want? Who's your favorite ogre? Is it Rance or Rance? It's a tough call. Look at this magnificent vessel I have constructed. My man can't hit a chompy that's right in front of him, but he can shoot an arrow all the way to Karamja that we have to go find. Jesus. Oh boy, here they come. <laughs> okay, so to get these jubblies, we're gonna use the ogre bellows on the already inflated toad. And we're gonna tie it to a rock and drop it. And that's how we <laughs> lure the jubbly over. I don't feel great about this, but that's what we gotta do. <laughs> yeah, we got one. Jesus, it's huge. All right. Okay, got him. Okay, now we just gotta spit roast this jubbly. I regret saying it like that, but I. That's what. That's what, that's what we have to do. This quest is doing things. Great, we gotta cook jubbly. Let's go free that man. Alright, brother, here's your enormous fucking bird. Great. 
That's two. So our friend the pirate requires fish cakes, uh, which you'd think, yeah, you know, you combine some fish, some breadcrumbs, great, you got it done. No, it requires giant crab, which you can only get by traveling underwater. So we got some stuff to do. Great, in order to go diving here, all we need to do is put a fishbowl on and then this mysterious diving apparatus that he seemed to have, which looks like a barrel with bellows and a tube in it. I am so confident here. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. It's crab time. Got everything we need for the fish cake. Let's uh, see. Yeah. Wow, he burnt two of them. All right. <laughs> well, all we needed was one. Anyway. <laughs> Use. Great. Hooray, that's done. For the next subquest, we gotta do Gertrude's cat real quick. Another quest that I uh, forgot that I haven't done yet. So we're just gonna get that one done and find her cat. Hey, you wanna go home? You want some milk? You want some food? You want your son? Okay, Gertrude's cat complete. All right, just gonna grow this little guy into a cat while I AFK, just gonna do some fishing. Dave here wants spicy stew, and obviously the only place in the world that we could get the right spices is in the insides of these evil rats. You know, sure, why not? Okay, looks like his ideal stew has three doses of cayenne pepper, two doses of cinnamon, two doses of turmeric, and then two doses of mustard seed. Doesn't sound too bad. Okay, David, here's your Stuart. He's good. Oh, okay. That's all the RFD we need to do for now. Did a farm run and got a Hespori seed, so that's pretty cool. We can use that eventually. Uh, now I'm just going to head to the elemental workshop and do those two quests, and we will get the crafting level and move on. Going to play with some water here. Going to get blown... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Away by these air guys. Handle a bowl of lava with our bare hands. Oh my god, I'm in the lava. Oh, I'm fine apparently? Okay. Going to mine a rock. Oh, it's a dude. I'll just mine this guy then. And we make an incredible shield. Love it. Let's do some more. Cool, just gonna search these bookcases to see if there's anything cool to read. Oh, just instantly going with the start quest dialogue. Okay. So we have to go through this hatch to get to the deeper part of the workshop or Elemental Workshop 2. Now in RuneScape 3, there are Elemental Workshops 3 and 4, and I would be okay with them adding more to the series in this game as well, as long as we just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper with every Elemental Workshop quest until eventually we accidentally release some kind of like ancient evil upon the world. An Elemental Workshop like 8 is this great grand master level quest where the series just takes a sharp right turn and we have to like save the world from this ancient being we've unearthed and I don't know that's that's my idea I think that'd be great Jagex hit me up cool I used these levers to successfully turn my bar into a hot pocket oh, I have flattened my hot pocket that doesn't seem ideal oh man my hot pockets all soggy I don't love what I'm doing to it oh, that thing is not looking good anymore huh oh god it's white now just a piece of paper. Where once there was a hot pocket, now it's just a receipt for the hot pocket. Man. Ooh, we get to go deeper. I like where this is going. This is uh, in the right direction. Uh, yeah, may as well siphon off my mental energy into this bar. That sounds like a thing I could do. <laughs> God. That did not look good for me. Okay, it's orange again, but it's still flat. I don't know. Cool, I have made the mind helmet. Uh, I just can't figure out how to make the mind goblin, but I'll let you know, I'll let you know. Let's get things started by talking to Mord and Maria Gunnars. This quest takes place in the Fremenic Isles, shocker, uh, of Natusnot and Yatiso, or as we call them in the modern day, nope and yep. Talking to uh, Gyuki Sorvot IV here, and the actual ruler of this place, H.R.H. Hraffen, which you may think stands for His Royal Highness Hraffen. No, it's actually Hraffen, 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 Hraffen. It's, it's... It's an old family name. The king of Yup here thinks that the king of Nope is gonna attack him, so we're gonna go spy on uh, the old Nope boy. Oh my gosh, one of the chat opportunities to talk to the spy master here is colorless green ideas sleep furiously. Linguistics, yes! Time to give these guys the greatest show they've ever seen. They have no idea what's coming. Dance! See how fast that dance was? Look at that. Now we're gonna hide the fact from the King of Nope here that we're working for the King of Yup, and we're actually gonna go back into our regular clothes and do some work for the King of Nope, but we're not gonna tell the King of Yup that we are doing work for the King of Nope. You following me? Cool, just need to fix a couple bridges for him, not too bad. Okay, now we are working for the King of Nope, and we're gonna go spy on the King of Yup. The King of Yup wants me to tax people? <sighs> Can I just repair more bridges? I like the other place better. 
So now this idiot's no longer upset because he thinks the King of Nope's gonna attack him. Now he just doesn't want Nope Guy to kill the Troll King before he has a chance to. I hate this guy. We are all set to fight the Ice Troll King. So what will we be fighting him with? Oh, it's the Eddie Warhammer. So this lovely guy gave me extra prayer pots and strength potions and tuna. It's it's just great. I'm a big fan of him. Anyway, we have to kill 10 of these little guys before we can fight the big boy. And this guy is wasting no time. All right, I've defeated enough trolls to attack the king. Let's pot up and head over. <laughs> he looks so regal. And pray mage, because if we pray melee, he does bad things to us. And I should not have done that. Oh. oh. One more hit. Come on. No, oh, I was wrong. Two more hits. Yes. Very nice. We're going to decapitate him. Uh problem is, I only have an Adam and Warhammer, so what am I going to decapitate him with? Do I just pound on his... Let's not think about it. Let's just let's just do it and get out of here. Guys, we did it. You can go. Guys? Okay, do your thing, I guess. I have completed the Framinic Isles. Love that for me. Let's see what we get. 57 attack, 47 crafting, 28 construction, and let's put it on... <laughs> yes! I'm so happy. Look at it. Yes! Great. Cool. Whacked a man repeatedly on the head for 53 thieving. I really hope he sees a doctor immediately. The last thing left is magic logs. So I'll settle in for a long grind at Wintertod. Okay, so I said if I reached 120 Wintertot KC without the magic logs, then I would call it and get it another way. And here we are, and here we are. <laughs> so, uh, we will be doing Desert Treasure in the next episode, because I don't want to put this one off any longer. But we are not leaving Wintertot empty-handed. Got our cash deck up from like 16k to 175k. Not bad. Got a bunch of herbs and supplies. And most importantly, the uh, prayer experience we got from burying dead people's bones at Wintertot Tot was 207 across this grind, so not bad. But obviously, I'm not going to end the episode on a grind that didn't pay out. No, no, no. I will make it up to you by defeating two scientists. <laughs> Seen to be 
afterlife is nothing but an impossible amount of bees! Oh, oh, what do they know? Have they experienced infinity stuck in the rat pits facility? I can see. It could have been me. Losing my mind because I had seen that there was no escaping EOC. How? I put them down. Oh, it shall take a take about in the wilderness and I move on to the one in the swamp. I touch his boots, I block his attacks. He has no escape from my heart. Oh, yeah,